thing is, uh, the art ain't no joke. Y'all have braved those elements to be out here. Amen. There's a lot of places folk are staying in. And, and I know the thought probably passed through y'all mind. <laughs> Amen. But I'm, I'm glad you're here today. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we honor, we thank you, we bless you, and we exalt you, for there is none like you are God. You are from everlasting to everlasting. And Lord God, we pray now that as you bless these, your people, to weather the elements, O oh God, and to deal with all that they've dealt with, to be here today, I pray now that you will send forth your word unchecked and unhindered by any force. I pray now that the perfect ministry of the Holy Spirit might manifest, tailoring this word for every individual, every life situation. I decrease that you, Lord Jesus, might increase. And in advance, we give you thanks and honor, glory and praise for all that shall be accomplished and for all that shall be revealed. For we believe today that the good seed of your word comes forth falls on the good ground of our hearts, whereby it germinates and produces fruit, good, acceptable, and remaining fruit to the glory of your name. And for these things that we believe you for and ask you for, we also declare in Jesus' mighty name, and all in agreement, said amen, 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 amen. amen. and amen. amen. If you will, just hold your Bibles up with me. Repeat after me. Say, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. It is life, it is life to, me. to me. And because of God's faithfulness, and because of God's faithfulness to, his to his word. And my obedience, and my obedience to him in faith. To him in faith. I now walk in love and, and the blessing of abundant life. Of abundant life. While you're still standing, I'm going to read from the King James Version. And it is recorded on this wise, John 15, 3. Now are ye clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now are ye clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. And we're talking today about consecrated by the word. Well, tell somebody, say, consecrated, consecrated by the word. By the word. Amen. Give God praise if you will. You can feel free to have your seat in the presence. Amen. I just want to remind you today that uh, things that have challenged you in your past is not going to challenge you the same this year as you do to go after God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Even in your health. Health situations are going to turn around. Yes, Lord. As we continue to go after God. Amen. There's, 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 there's doors that's been blocked. Yes. Lord. Doors that you couldn't even find. But it's going to become more clear to you which door Amen. you need to go through. Amen. God's going to cause it to open for you. Amen. And Amen. answers to prayers Amen. are manifesting. Amen. It is so. Amen. And I just want to encourage you today. Let us live a consecrated life, not just for this set consecration that we have set ourselves this eight Amen. weeks, but on and on and on and on. Let it be a lifestyle that honors God consistently yes, no. as we align with his purpose and with his plan. Amen. Amen. Do you receive that word to your life today? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. You, you know, uh, uh, the, the thought consecrated by the word is being set apart by God's Amen. word. Amen. And the word lets us know that God has predestined us. Mm. Uh, you all understand the word predestined. Predestined, for those who don't understand or know the word, it bespeaks of being set beforehand. It's, it's already done before the actual manifestation takes place. It's already set. Yeah, yeah. And the Bible said God had predestined us, if you will, that we should live this life that honors him. Amen. So even before we realize anything about God, whether we could make a decision of yay or nay, I want him, I don't want him, God already predestined us. Amen. And we can look in the scripture there in Jeremiah, and we can find where Jeremiah says, Oh, God speaks to him uh, 
to, to speak, to do something. And Jeremiah said, I, I can't do that. I'm a child. Amen. And God basically says, John, what do you mean you're a child? Listen, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I had already called you. I had ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. So before you were ever born, this was already said. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing today? Amen. So you and I need to know and understand that there's a call on our life that was there before we showed up. Amen. Amen. Before we realized there was a call. There was a purpose that God ordained for us to be on this side of heaven at this time in this place in our lives. Amen. 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 And so we, we, we understand that we have been set apart by God's word. You know, so many people go through life and they wonder, why am I here? And most of us may have asked that question. Amen. Why am I here? What, what is the purpose of my life? Yeah. What am I supposed to accomplish? And some have kind of been a bit beset because they say, well, it looked like at this point in my life, I should be further along. It, it looks like at this point in my life, this should be my story, but no, this is my story. All right. I want to remind you today that it's not over till it's over. Amen. 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 And things can change in 24 hours. Yes. You can go from one manner of life to a whole other manner of life. Amen. Things can turn Amen. around for you in a most favorable way where you may have afflictions in your body and you don't know how you're going to ever get better. Doctors have tried to do what they know how to do and it still persists. The same pain, the same sickness, the same challenge. But blessed be God, I'm talking about a God who is a miracle worker today. He is able to set the captive free from the pain. Set them free from the agony, from the mind challenges, and so forth. Are you hearing today? Amen. God can turn your situation around to where one day you're in poverty and you can't hardly figure out how I'm going to get the money to buy a loaf of bread. And God turned that situation around until you can go ahead and buy a whole bag. Amen. Yes, Lord. It is so. It is happening. It has happened to some. All kinds of ways that it happens. There are some, oh yeah, we know some play the lottery. And I know y'all probably thinking about the guy who just won and all that. But but let me tell you, that God has ways you haven't figured out yet. And many of us, unbeknownst to us, have more than we think we have. It is so. More of some of all kind of good stuff that we think we have. There are some folks who think you don't have anybody that care about them. And you'll be surprised who all cares about you. Right now. Yeah. Yes. You'll be surprised how many folks are praying for you. You may not see them. You may not be talking with them. But that doesn't mean you aren't in their prayer. All right. All right. All right. And you and I today, we're consecrated by the word. Bible says, Amen. now are you clean through the word which I've spoken unto you. Amen. Clean how? I believe this clean touches a lot of parts of our lives. Yes. This is not only clean in the sense of now are we saved, but I believe this is also clean to where when we receive the word of God, he said the word I've spoken unto you. Yes. When we receive the word of God, now I'm not going to be so judgmental against folk. Amen. Amen. Mm. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, when, when we receive that word, we're consecrated by that word. Now I'm going to believe the best about my brothers and my sisters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus. There in John 15, 24. John 15, 24. Talking about being consecrated by the word, set apart by God's word. Are you there? Amen. Very rarely I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So here the Lord Jesus speaks and he says, the one who hear my word, truly, truly, very, very, truly, truly, 
He that hears my word and believes on him that sent me says he had everlasting life. Going to pass from death unto life. We're sanctified by that word. That word is what sets us apart. Us believing the word. Us demonstrating faith. Faith shows up beyond evidence. Amen. Amen. If you need evidence, if you need proof to believe, then that's not faith so much. Amen. Bible tells us faith is the substance of the things we hope for the is the evidence of things we do not see. Amen. Jesus, speaking on a, another occasion, or the Apostle Paul says, let not to look on the visible things, but look on the invisible things. How do you look on invisible things? How do you see what you can't see? Amen. Right? The, the visible things, Bible say, are temporal, meaning they're only here for a time. Amen. The spiritual things or the invisible things are eternal, meaning they're here always. Amen. And the word instructs us to be able to, to live beyond what our natural eyes can see. Amen. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. So, so, yes. so, if your child is acting out real bad, you need to be able to see a day when your child is doing the good and wholesome and proper thing. Amen. If your money is funny, it's all jacked up, you need to be able to see a day where you're not going to have to scratch the pennies to try to put a meal together, but you're going to be able to eat the food of choice. Amen. Are you hearing today? Amen. If, if, if right now you're Struggling, just trying to keep a cover over your head, someplace to lay. You need to believe God that God can open a door for you and work Amen. things out that you can't have Amen. your own. Yes. Listen, do you know most folk who are paying rent are paying as much and even many times more than people who are buying houses? Amen. 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 Rent's not cheap. That's right. So if you can pay rent, the amount you pay in rent month after month, you could on your own. I just want to stretch you to encourage you to believe for your own today. Yeah. You say, but I don't have any money. I just can't get the rent payment together. That may be right now, but that don't have to be your story Amen. forever. Amen. Amen. No, no. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. God can turn that situation around. Yeah. Do you know if you pay your rent was eight hundred dollars and you pay that eight hundred dollars uh, uh, every month in a year's time, you have just paid seventy or ninety six hundred dollars out yeah. in one year. Uh -huh. Do you know if you multiply that by ten, you have just paid out ninety six thousand yeah. dollars? And do you know if you move after 10 years, all you get to take are the furnishings you put in there? All right. Amen. That's all you leave with. Yes, yes. And if it's the same ones you came in with, some of you probably want to leave on the curb. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> so you don't leave with a whole lot. But if that same amount of money was paid on a house yes. and you chose to leave, you could sell it. Get some of your money back. Mm. Are you hearing today? Yeah. Right. You see, God, God want to take us someplace else. Amen. And you and I should be able to believe the stretch and believe, even though naturally you don't know how things could ever work out. Amen. Ever. Amen. You know, there's a difference between small and insignificant. All right, mm -hmm. now. There is a difference. And sometimes what hurt us is we are not able to distinguish very well small from insignificant. All right now. And so small things, we count them as insignificant. Big things, we count as significant. Significant being important. Significant being things of value, if you will. All right. Bible says this. Despise not the day of small beginnings. You and I today need to believe God in the midst of those small things that's happening that many times those small things are an indication of what should come later. All right now. Praise God. Are you hearing? Amen. It's almost like a glimmer. And, and you know, I was, I was standing on the banks of the Indian Ocean. 
I was in Mombasa, which is in Kenya, in Africa. And uh, I'm out early in the morning before the sun rose. And you could see way out in the horizon, you could see the, the rays of light shining. The sun hadn't come up yet, but you could see the sky starting to light up in the distance. And uh, the rays would break through in certain places. You could see the rays pointing up, and that was an indication that the sun is rising. Sun wasn't risen yet. Couldn't even see a little bit of it round yet. But you could see some light up in the cloud, in the sky. And sometimes we miss that small things are like the rays that I see that will send your sun is rising. All right now. Praise God. Are you hearing today? Yeah. Yeah. That, that a change is in process right now. Yeah. And I want to encourage you, let's believe God in the situations that's going on in life, that what God promised us, it is so. Yes, God. It is so. I'm, I'm, I'm consecrated. You're consecrated by the word which he spoke. Amen. And he lets us know that we have some death unto life just by believing on him that sent him. Meaning, Amen. believing on God who sent Christ. Yes. That's right. That's right. Jesus did come Amen. down through 40 and two generations. Jesus did suffer at the hand of sinful men, he himself having done no sin. Mm. Jesus did hang out on a cross called Calvary at a place called Golgotha. Jesus did die and resurrected. The Bible says he laid his life down and he picked it up again Amen. after three days. Yes. And he lives now never to die again. Amen. You and I do well to believe what the Lord said. Amen. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's noteworthy how God made us, I believe and declare that God made us with a special place inside that belongs to him. Amen. And so, many times in our lives, we try to fill that space with stuff. Amen. And, and some folk have gotten into all kinds of things trying to fill that space, but nothing can ever Fill that space but God because that's God's space. Amen. Amen. Am I, am I, yeah, are you yeah. understanding what I'm yeah. saying here today? Yeah. So whether you were uh, partaking in certain chemicals and behaviors and what have you, and they may seem to kind of pacify, there always still would be this, this peace that it wouldn't cover. And you can't deny that that space is there. All right. Amen. You can have money, but money doesn't fill that spot. Amen. Amen. You can have friends. Mm -hmm. They don't fill that spot. Amen. You can have the drug of choice, and you can layer them one on top of the other, and they still cannot fill that spot. Amen. Why? Because that spot is reserved for God. Yes. And only God can fill that spot. And you and I have got to set ourselves, we're the ones that say, Lord, I surrender to you. Amen. And when we surrender to him, then he fills that spot, and that place becomes complete, and we become whole. Yes. It is. Yes. There's some folk that felt like if I could, if I could just go to school and, and get this degree, I'm, I'm going to be good. And they went to school and they got the degree and still something was missing. And somebody right. said, if I could just get in this uh, uh, career track, I, I'm going to be good. And they got into the career track and mm -hmm. it was good, but there still was something missing. There's somebody who said, all I need is some money. Money would solve my problem. You give me about this much right here, I'll be good. And they had that much and more, and still something was missing. Yeah. Some folks said, all I need is this person in my life, or these people. I, I get these friends, my homies, and, and we'll be good. And they had homies, and some folks had all kind of people that love them from all around the world. And they found out it still didn't fill that place that God had reserved for Amen. himself. Amen. Amen. You, you can talk to some of the athletes and, and entertainers, and some of them will tell you, and have declared that they, they felt like uh, uh, if they elevated me, 
So whether you're talking about an athlete making it to the pros, or you're talking about an entertainer making it on the world stage and, and, and traveling, doing the tours, and making all the money, and having all these people that, if you will, love them, they, they've reached the top of their, their game, if you will, mm -hmm. and still something was missing at all the right. top. Yes. All right. Why? Because there's a space God reserves for himself. Oh, and you and I today, if we're going to be sanctified by the word, if we're going to be consecrated by the word, then we have to surrender to the word. Amen. We have to say, Lord, I need you to come in. I've, I've tried everything I know how to try, and nothing has met the need that I have in my life. I'm going to try you now, God. I want you to come in and make me whole. I, I want you to make me over. I, I want you to put me together. I want to live my life out in the way that you want me to live. Amen. Yes. I live it on my terms. Yes. Yes. My terms doesn't answer all the questions for me. Amen. My term doesn't fill all the voids for me. Amen. My terms doesn't satisfy me. Like I know there's another level of satisfaction, but I haven't attained yes. to it yet. Yes. God, I need you to come in and heal me where yes. I'm broken and where I'm hurt. Amen. Yes. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Scripture yes. says. There in, in John 8.31. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Talking about being sanctified or consecrated. The words are interchangeable by the word. So there in John 8.31, are you there? Amen. Then said Jesus to those Jews who believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples. They were consecrated by what? The word. The word. By God's word. God's word is what brings us in alignment with him when we align with his word. Right. That's how we are consecrated. That's how we are set apart. Bible said faith comes by hearing and hearing by what? The word, the word of God. So it's hearing and hearing the word that help us to align with the purpose and plan of God for our lives. Did you get that? Amen. Is by hearing and hearing. This is why it's so important for us to come and be in our times of celebration, Sunday morning celebration, our Wednesday night celebration and, and Bible studies. Because through hearing the word, there's an illumination that comes to our understanding where, where God calls the light of the word to come open to us and we're able to see things and understand that we did not understand before. Amen. We come to understand it better than we ever did before. All right now. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Consecrated by the word. The word. Small and insignificant. Don't get them twisted. Some folk feel like, how can this word change my life? Seems a small thing. But it's not an insignificant thing. It is very significant. The word of God is what formed the world. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Are you hearing? Yes. I said the word of God is what formed the world. Amen. Amen. Now we know there are scientists and evolutionists that say there was this explosion, this cosmic explosion and when things cooled down there was some scum on the water and out of the scum, life started forming the single cell animals, if you will, and, and they multiplied and connected and morphed into what we call today humans. Hmm. <laughs> now, if you believe that, All right. I think I got some land in Florida yeah, to say. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you just pay me up front. <laughs> First off, there's all kind of problems with that. And, and sad but true, in the church, in the body of Christ, there's a whole lot of folks believe in evolution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't believe God created them. They believe their foreparents was a was mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard, I heard a story about the little girl who was wondering where the people come from. <laughs> and uh, she asked her mother. And her mother said, well, you know, God made man 
and won. And so that was okay. And then later, another time, she would ask her dad the same question. She said, Dad, where did, where did people come from? And so he talked about the cosmic explosion and how there was the Anathal man and all that. And he mm. came from apes. Mm. So she had, she had a problem because mom said one thing, dad said another. Mm -hmm. So she said, she went to mom, she said, Mom, you said God made man. But daddy said there was the explosion and you know there was apes and now we people. She said, oh, honey, I can explain that. Said, I told you about my side of the family. He told you about his. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> Amen. You, you see, uh, we really were created as the Bible says. Amen. And God created all the animals. And, and, and it's the word of God that formed the worlds. Amen. It's, it's the word, the spoken word. And you and I have power available to us through the word because we're consecrated by God's word. Are you here? We're set aside. We're set apart. This is why a believer many times, well, the Bible says this. If there's any sick among you, let them call for who? The elders of the church. They would anoint them with, with oil, pray the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith would save the sick and the Lord would raise them up. What is it? That word sets that in order. Yeah. Otherwise, we couldn't go do anything, but the word stands. We're consecrated by the word. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. So, so we understand that God's word has great value in our lives. Yes. Amen. This is why we ought to be spending time learning more about the word. Do you realize God has made you and I so many promises that we don't know that he made, and therefore we're not walking in it because we're not even cognizant of it. All right, all right. It's just like somebody who had money laid up for you in an account. They got their account information and everything all set for you. You don't know it's set. All right. You don't realize it's there. Amen. You would probably go to your grave. Not you, not you, not you, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about um, somebody down over wherever else. <laughs> they would go to their grave never having enjoyed what was already set aside for them. Mm -hmm. It's already set aside. They just don't know it. Mm. All right. Yes. But God got some good stuff for you. Amen. I said God got some good stuff for you. Do you know that you need to open your mouth every day in a word of thanksgiving Amen. to God and then begin to declare blessings of yes, God over yes. your life? Yes. yes. Do, do you know you ought to do that? Let me tell you something. I want to encourage you in this throughout this year and the years to come. All right? Amen. All of us know you do not take seeds that you plant today at 9 a.m. and then at 11 a.m. this doesn't produce the fruit. All right? <laughs> right? Y'all do know that. I'm not giving you a revelation in case you don't know that you can't do that. It doesn't produce in its same day. Seeds are sown to produce in a season to come. Amen. Amen. So when the farmer sows his seed, he already knows it's for another day. It's not the day I'm sowing it in. You need to be speaking some things of what you want to see in your next season. But you got to start sowing now. That's right. You got to start declaring now. The Bible says that you could speak to the mountain and it shall obey you if you do it in faith. Amen. Bible says all things are possible to him that believeth. So because I believe the word said it, I believe that I can have what the word said I can have. Amen. Amen. So I need now to start sowing my seed, the word of my mouth. I need to start sowing that in to my future. Yes, yes. You know, I recall uh, as a much younger man, I had uh, we were in our first apartment, well, our only apartment, and uh, I said then, when I move out of my apartment, I wanted to move into my own house. Amen. Yeah. 
I want to move into my own house. Now, I didn't know how I was going to do it. Because I didn't have any money. I was broke. With a capital B R O K. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I was Amen. like real broke. But I had a job, you know, I was able to pay my rent and get a little food and keep the lights on, that kind of thing. But once that was done, give my tithe, my offerings, once that was done, wasn't a whole lot, you know, because you had your car insurance, you had to have gas and all those other expenses. And um, you know, we had to eat too. So, so I'm saying when I move out, I want to move into my own house. Had no idea how I would do it. None whatsoever. But let me tell you today, you don't have to figure it all out. That's right. There are some things that you will discover as you go on your Amen. way that you have no idea of right now. Amen. But I'm telling you, God won't work it out in your behalf. Yes, yes. Can he trust you to put him first? Amen. Can he trust you to do that? Yes. You know, when the, my, my, my first house, um, I'm, I'm at the table, I'm at work, I'm at the table, and uh, one of the guys says, uh, hey, Dave, you got a house? I said, no. I said, you want one? Yeah. And I, I was kind of hesitant to say that because I'm thinking they're going to come back like, how much money you got? <laughs> and Lord, no, I didn't want to answer that question. But I said, yes. Because I know a nice house says a good house for somebody. And, and, and I can't use it because I need three, four, five, six family dwellings. I, I can't use, you know, even doubles. He didn't really want doubles. Uh, he said, but it's a real good house for somebody. And long story short, I went to see it. Nice area of the city. Uh, some of you are familiar with 19th Ward. 19th Ward is where it was. House had been vacant five to seven years. The guy who owned the house had been in the, um, I guess he had a gas station or something, and the business went belly up. And he was living in Florida and just wanted to get rid of it. Because he'd been paying for it for all those years, trying to pay the liens and the loans and all that other stuff. And uh, long story short, God would bless me to get the house. I went to closing with $1,600. I walked away with $800 of those dollars. Mm. The house was assessed at $56,000. It only had, I assumed the mortgage, the mortgage was only $11,000 and some change. Mm. So I already had over forty thousand dollars of equity in the house when I got it, mm -hmm. and my mortgage payment was only two hundred, I think, sixty-two dollars and some change, at a five and a quarter percent interest. Listen, God know how to bless you. God know how to open a door for you. God knows how to work it out for you. Somebody say, God is working it out for me right now. God is working it out right now. Come on, if you believe it, say it. God is working it out for me right now. Listen, you don't have to know how it's going to happen. Yes, amen. Now, 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 um, let me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to sign off to our global audience because I'm going to do a little family talk. All right. Love you all. Appreciate you. Want to remind you that you're consecrated by the word. Amen. Want to remind you to hold on to God's word. God's word never fails. Amen. Want to encourage you to stretch your faith. Much love. God willing, we'll see you the next time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.